So hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me back out on the banks of the river and we're in search of dace and roach on the stick float. Today you do join me on the first session of the year up on the banks of the mighty Ribble. Autumn is definitely in the air, there's a dew on the ground. You can see behind me there's a beautiful mist coming down the river. And as you can see on screen now, what a beautiful sky we're being treated to this morning. During the week there's been plenty of rain in the northwest of England. This river's been up quite a bit, but dry on Thursday and Friday, the river has dropped quite significantly over the last couple of days. So the river that we're coming to today is in good condition. So I'm super excited to make a start, but before we do look at the setup and look at the swim, just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that subscribes to the channel, leaves the videos a like, comments down below, it really is appreciated. And if you are new around here, my name's Danny, and every Friday at 6 p.m., we put a new video on the channel. So on the channel, a lot of people do ask me why I don't come up to the River Ribble for my fishing, you know, in spring and summer. And this morning sums up why. In winter and autumn, I'm up here quite a bit. But if I come up here every week, this first beautiful morning, as you can see there, wouldn't be as magical. And that is why I don't always come up here at other times of year. It makes the times when I do come up here really special. It's about half an hour since you last seen me. I've been slipping and sliding, like Oasis would say, down the bank. I was going to set up a bit further downstream. You can see my uncle down there, but the banks are treacherous. The early season floods, it's making it really slippy. You can see I've got all the gear to the side. We've got the side tray. We'll go over it really quickly. We've got plenty of red maggot. Got quite a bit of that hinders hemp. We've got some corn. In case some better fish turn up. Got all the stuff we need for the hook link. Nice and simple, two bank sticks, a landing net, and a beautiful view. Would you just look at that for the view? Fish topping, and hopefully one or two bites. Looking quickly at the setup, I've got two rods set up today. Got my 17 foot Preston Innovations rod. I've got it down to a 0.8 gram, fine line of float. I've got a couple of evenly shot number fours, a two pound hook link, and I've got a number six dropper just to dot that float right down, down to a tiny size 20 hook. So as you can see, it's a beautiful morning to be on the bank. My uncle downstream. I'm going to start off nice and simple, just off the rod tip. I'm going to feed the maggots just in line with me because it's a, a shallow swim. I'm just going to begin to put some of that hemp in. There's a bit of colour in the river today that gives me the confidence we might get them closer in. But obviously we can go further out if we need to. But keeping to that lesson of start easy. And it's only go hard if we have to. And see what we can catch close in. And that lighter float seems to be going through okay. And by that I mean that the river isn't in control of the float. The float is in control of the river. It seems to be it's going through nicely. It's a bite on the first cast, that's how you want to start. <laughs> that is how you want to start. And you don't really care what it is in that first bite. It's a roach, a little tiny roach. And he's fell off in the edge and he's gone back in the river. But a bite on the first cast is promising. So a bite on the first cast is always good. Just feeding the maggots over a bit of an area. So if we hit a snag, we've always got the option to go a bit further out then. Just going to ease that bait through the swim. There's a fish right up the swim. <laughs> Only a tiny fish, but it shows that the fish are coming up to the bait. And it's a little tiny, tiny little chublet. At this stage, it isn't really about the size of the fish. Of course, if you keep getting small fish, you go a bit further out. But at the moment, it's just about getting bites and getting into that routine. There we go. See there, into a much better fish. We haven't changed the line, we've just stuck at it. It does show I want to see better fish about when it's a roach. Being like a bit of a, a break in the water, which slows it down a bit, a roach is a great sign. Hopefully, there could be better ones about, but that is a beautifully marked river ribble roach. One of the things that I love about coming up to the river is you bump into people that you see every year. Gentleman's just been past watching the blog. Great to see him. 
have a good chat, we've gone for a walk upstream, we've gone back in and connected with another roach. There's plenty of bites to be had and at the moment they are the better quality fish that we're getting. We're getting a lot of the smaller ones but we're getting one or two of these. Just got to keep plugging away. So my uncle's just been down for his chat and been sticking at it. Been getting quite a few smaller roach and just hooked into a slightly better one. It's always the way when you're talking about the fishing and <laughs> not concentrating. You seem to get the better bites. Well, this just proves he's one or two better ones about. That's getting on for the slightly better one. You're talking probably six ounces, seven ounces maybe, as opposed to five. It just shows there are better fish about. It is all about just sticking at it, keep feeding, and hoping that you can attract the better fish in. Looking at the river, it has got a bit of colour in it today. You can see, and a bit of pace. And I think the key today is that colour staying. So there are little things that you can do and experiment as you're going through and all the time you're just trying to see if they make an impact like there I've gone a slightly bit further out and I'm already noticing that my better quality fish are just coming on the outside see there I'm consistently getting better by just being that little tad further out there's little things that you can do during the day to try and improve your catching we won't catch anything without a maggot on that is for certain <laughs> you've got to have a maggot on to get a bite there you go you can see there that bit further out into the river and on average the stamp of fish has gone up you can see see the clavity still a bit of colour in it so hopefully it keeps staying there but you can see a duck's upstream here and you can see a bit of colour there so it is changing all the time so at the start we were talking about making sure that feed goes over an area to give you them options during the session. Moved it out just a few, maybe half a rod length. I'm feeding a bit further out and the quality is definitely better and the average size is improving. There we go, a lovely plump river river roach. No days so far but yeah just giving yourself them options with how you feed. We've moved that line out a little bit, slightly deeper. We're getting better quality. You can see there, <laughs> going a bit further out, we've hooked into a really nice fish here. Don't know what this is. Might be foul hooked. It's going straight out into the river. And we've hooked it on the outside line and it is it's taken us out into the river it could be a pike it could be a foul hooked fish and we've hooked into a a decent fish i've slackened the drag right off but only on a two pound hook link so god knows what it could be it does look like a decent fish oh, i don't think it's a pike i don't know what it is Decent fish, whatever it is. So it's going upstream. We've just got to keep that pressure on. But not enough that we get snapped. <laughs> so what a beautiful fish that is. I'll leave it to the comments section down below to decide whether it's a sea trout or a trout. You get a good look at it. But look at the lovely colours. Deep down, I was hoping it was Mr Chubb. I've got to admit. And I guess this fish just shows why I love rivers so much. You keep at it and you never know what's going to arrive in your swim. Trout returned, we're back to catching roach. And just by staying on the outside line, we've hooked into another better quality fish again. You can see there, taking line. I'll have to shout my uncle in a minute to net it. He <laughs> carries on. Again, hopefully it's not a trout and it's Mr. Chubb. And in these scenarios, I just want to see it. I'm not too bothered if I see it and it comes off. I just love knowing what they are. <laughs> and this is feeling a bit trouty or pikey. It's got that jaggedness to it. But if you're a regular to the channel, you know I'm rubbish at guessing. <laughs> so take no notice <laughs> of my guesses. Oh, it's a big perch. See, what did I tell you? Rubbish at guessing. <laughs> everything but what it actually is so with all them small fish mr perch 
wasn't going to be far away was he what a lovely fight on that light line and again just shows what you can get in on a two pound up link and a size 20 hook best roach of the day so far and that is a beautiful one and just shows there are better quality about the river as you can see he's lost a bit of colour it's holding it's dropped a bit so moving a bit further out is definitely working that's a lovely roach into the afternoon now i've been continuing to get them bites the blue skies have returned and the rain has stayed away you can just see how conditions have changed you know you couldn't see that rock down there before and the water clarity has definitely gone clearer it's how quickly this river changes it's why i love it because it can be flooded one day fishable the next but you can just see since we started this morning just how conditions have changed and i thought we'd avoided it <laughs> for a bit but the rain coming down i'm sure it'll just be a shower but always the way all seasons in one day but the roach are still coming so towards the end of the session the colour really did drop out the river the quality fish seemed to move away and be replaced with small dace but there was the odd roach in between that kept it interesting so as you can see from the final net plenty of bites not much quality apart from the perch but an enjoyable day bankside today's been one of them days on the bank where you've had to make the most out of a swim that hasn't had much quality and i think we've really done that it bodes well for the season ahead there's plenty of fish in the river and it's a good base to build on and with all that said all that remains for me to say is to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch you all next week tight lines